Good morning. I'm here at Spendero Cove uh, in Northwest Hills, and I just wanted to show you around real quick. And um, let me show you the front of the house first, and then we'll head inside. Okay, this house is great because it is a, on a cul-de-sac, and then right there is Spicewood Springs Road, but this is just off the beaten path enough that I think it'd be really um, calm and peaceful. All right, so here's the front of the home, and let's head inside and check out the property. Okay, so as we head in, it definitely has had a lot of modernization done. Oops, excuse me. Uh, so here we would have our dining room area. Living room with some a little step down right here. And then I do love the high ceilings up top. And as long as we're here, let's head out to the backyard and pool area. I like that it's fenced. Let's take a peek. Uh, fenced, it does have uh, some tr leaves that may fall in it, but it does offer some nice shade. And then we do have some backyard for kicking a ball around. Okay, let's head back inside. Okay, so again, let's head um, and we'll actually go through the primary bedroom and then we'll head to the kitchen area. All right, this does have a step up. I do like the high ceilings. Closet may be just this kind of built-in, or not built-in cabinet, this standalone cabinet. But it does have views to the pool. And it does have an ensuite bathroom that is wheelchair accessible. So it is kind of like a roll right in if needed. Okay. And then there's a sink in here. Through here is a little eat-in area, and then kitchen space. This one does not come with a fridge. So again, primary bedroom, kitchen, and then here we have laundry room, which does not come with a washer and dryer. Let's check out the garage. Okay, a little bit oversized garage with a little extra storage along the sides. Okay, coming from the laundry room area, let's head back into the living room area. And again, it has the dining, formal dining room. That is right here, this is a step down into the kind of slightly sunken living room space. And then let's head towards the bedrooms. Okay, bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, this one might be like a tiny bit bigger. And then let's go see. I like that everything's nice and neutral paint. It's all the same paint color. Here is the like the hall bath with um, like a separate toilet area and then the largest of the bedrooms high nice ceiling modern fans and then let's go see Whew. so bathroom this could be a great guest room space or office and it does have a great closet as well. Okay. And then just uh, because I didn't walk around the side, um, there is some side yard space, which again could be some space for kids to play. All right, let me know if this one's on the list.